Thank you very much, uh, Chairman Bingaman and Ranking Member Murkowski. We appreciate this opportunity to appear before you to talk about the Outer Continental Shelf Permit Processing Coordination Act. The Arctic OCS coordinator language has been introduced before, including in the S-1462, which passed this committee unanimously before. I thought it was a good idea, and I wanted to do what I can to advance this legislation with a few changes. The past year has been evidence that is needed now more than ever. Uh, I was glad to hear the President talk about on Saturday the need for coordinating work between the many different federal agencies. And I know later in your, your next panel, Secretary Salazar will probably speak more about the President's comments on Saturday. As you know, Shell has been trying to develop its Beaufort leases since 2005. In addition to Shell, ConocoPhillips and Statoil purchased Chukchi leases in February of 2008. Six years later, no exploration wills, wells have been drilled due to delay and litigation. Best case scenario for production of the Chukchi is post-2020, Beaufort perhaps a little sooner. There are six federal agencies that govern the aspects of OCS development and administer 10 major acts of legislation. Bomar estimates Beaufort and Chukchi Sea alone holds 27 billion barrels of oil and nearly 100 TCF of clean, burning natural gas. The Beaufort resources are closer to shore and existing infrastructure. However, the lion's share is thought to be in the Chukchi Sea. We have to decide, is this a national priority? If it is, as I believe it is, we need to get serious about the work ahead of us. The Trans-Alaska Pipeline, or TAPS as it's called, Throughput is about 650,000 barrels a day at this point, between 12 and 13 percent of domestic production, declining at a rate of 6 to 7 percent a year. Sooner than we want, we'll reach a point where it's technically and economically impractical to operate the line. If that point is at half of today's production, a switch will be flipped, and the U.S. will lose 6 percent of its domestic production and dramatically increase costs to access future Alaska resources. There are some resources available to slow the decline onshore, but the best chances are in the OCS offshore. Critical to the economy of my state and energy security of, na of this nation, we see we can uh, develop this resource responsibly and produce this resource for our country's needs. The bill requires the Secretary of Interior to enter into cooperative arrangement with the federal agencies, Governor, Governor of Alaska, and the borough governments adjacent to lease areas. It doesn't change any environmental standards, just forces agencies to actually work together. Oil and gas industries have grown up in the Gulf. Industry and government relations evolved along with it. While all federal agencies exist and work together in Alaska, they are not necessarily have the resources or the relationships or the experience as described as uh, by Senator Hutchinson in the Gulf. EPA, for example, air permits are the clearest example. The, they built the program from scratch with minimal resources. The bill would also create coordinators in the Atlantic and Pacific when and if the lease sales happen in, this, in these regions, regions. Finally, we all recognize these are contentious issues. Plenty of flight, fights in our Alaska family and with outside groups. Lots of litigation to date. And there will probably be more down the road. Litigation prioritizes and speeds resolution of these differences but doesn't deny access to courts. With short drilling seasons, complicated logistics, and long lead times, easy to see why our, re our seasons slip away. We have watched 2010 season, the 2011 season, just do that, disappear from the ability for us to explore. I wanna thank the committee for allowing uh, the hearing on the bill, and again, the goal here is to speed up the process, but not deny anyone their rights of litigation and appeals if they see fit but get the process moving and more coordinated in the Arctic. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member.